Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It is your girl, Miss Honey, here for another daily devotional. Today is August 26th. Today we're going to be talking about just rest. I'm so down. I'm so down just for this title. Like, just the title alone makes me extremely, extremely happy. We are going to be um, coming out of one of my favorite books of the Bible, Psalms uh, 29. Verse 11, uh, the morning version of Psalms is going to be the New King James Version. And the evening version of Psalms is going to be from the NCV Version, Nancy Charles Victory Version. Without further ado, let's talk about just rest. Psalms 29 and 11, the New King James Version reads, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The text says, picture a season in your life where you are knee deep in busyness. Swallowed in sadness or buried in exhaustion. Picture the season that season and how you look acted reacted and survived now picture Jesus see his face feel his warmth envision his smile picture yourself back in the same place in that same picture yourself back in that same tiresome season Sitting on a chair in your house, desiring to spend time with God, but being so extremely tired that you couldn't find the strength. These are the times when he longs to draw near. The prayer for this morning is, Lord, I know what it's like to be weary and weak. Thank you that you have always been my strength and that you will be it again today. I'm excited to read the evening version because oftentimes the evening version um, of the text sort of uh, fleshes things out for me a little bit more. Um, the most intriguing part about this first half of the devotional was um, these are the times when he longs to draw near you know last line and then we're done right <laughs> tell me more wait 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 <laughs> let's get into the evening version of Psalms 29 and 11 which is the NCV version it says Lord Gives, the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. I like this version. The text says, do you feel weary after a long day? Perhaps you have been dealing with children or trying to work toward an important deadline for uh, work or study. It's hard to feel peace when you are so busy and yet so tired. Give your day to the Lord. Take this one moment to rest. Allow his peace to settle on, on your heart. <clears throat> the prayer for the evening says, Jesus, I need rest. I need you to fill this tired mind and heart with your presence. Be my strength this evening and bless me with your peace. The question for ourselves today is, have you encountered a moment with Jesus where you understood more fully that he gets you to your very core? He knows your heart. He knows when your soul needs rest.
That's a very good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. My soul needs rest. I don't know. How do you know when your soul is rested? It's a really good question. He knows your heart. He knows when your soul needs rest. Seems like something you would know. If your soul is rested, seems like that's something you would you would know. You would you would be able to mark time with. You could have a story behind. So Maybe I've never encountered that moment. It doesn't seem like something I would have forgotten. I do I do get the importance of rest for sure. Right? <coughs> you know, like sleeping eight hours. Got it, right? Cat naps, got it. You know. If you're not feeling well, resting, yes. But what does it really mean to truly rest? What does it really, truly mean to, 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 to rest? Is that complete relaxation without control, feeling the need to control anything? Does it mean you're not thinking about your upcoming bills and the mortgage next steps, the report that is due, uh, what you're going to eat. What, what does it really mean? What does it really mean for, for your, I've heard my mom talk about, I needed, you know, needing to rest her mind um and i know about resting your physical body right but soul rest what is soul rest s o u l what is soul rest i i'll need to investigate i'll need to look that up uh, I need to identify it more specifically. I think a lot of people may identify soul rest as death. You know, leaving the troubles of this world and going on home to be with the Lord. Maybe that's how ultimately I'm identifying it. And so it does seem far off from me, right? <laughs> But it does seem at the same time quite peaceful. I'd like to know more. Um, yeah. If anyone out there knows uh, what is meant by soul rest, he knows when your soul needs rest, right? Um, we understand that he knows our heart. Um and the intent of our heart and things like that. But I'm thrown off when it says he knows when your soul needs rest. Do, do any of you out there, you know, some of my seasoned honeybees know uh, where this is coming from? I'd like to know. I, I'm, I'm interested in knowing. I'll do my own research and maybe post some stuff on the community wall. But I'm not going to hold you guys any further. It is my prayer that whatever type of rest you can garner today, you can get today, this week, this month, this season. It is my prayer that that rest be yours, that it be sweet and that it be purposeful and that it be revitalizing, invigorating you on into the next half of your season or on into your new season that's my prayer for you today 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please know that I love you with the love of the Lord. And that's that on that. And until next time, honeybees. I holla.